There we go. Big bluegill. Is it a big bluegill? Yep. Nice. Big bluegill. I love just the circles there. Uh, mm, yeah, oh man, that is a sweet fish. Come to me, Papa. Look at how wide that is. Japers, that's a donkey. Huh? It's as big as my hand. Just a big pie plate. When they say pie plate, pie, pie plate bluegills, this is definitely what they're talking about, huh? A few years ago, Jeremy, these are definitely the fish that were going in the fry pan, but these are the ones that just, these are the fish that keep the fishery alive. If you want to get a lake that you can consistently, you know, have an opportunity to catch these 10 plus inch bluegills, they got to go back in the water. Some of the major advancements we've had in fishing, not only for panfish, but everything is of course, trolling motor and boat control technology. And what we're doing right now is we've got kind of a stout south wind. It's a relatively sharp break with some cabbage and bulrushes up here, but rather than tailing down, I can't, the tailing can't reach, I'd be too far up into the rushes, so I'm spot locked. But to cover this, rather than having to pay attention to the trolling motor, on this little micro remote I've got for the Altera, I simply push the over button, and it's just gonna scoot the boat to a spot lock position five feet this way. So what we can do is we can really methodically work through this whole area. We can make pinpoint casts through these weed lines and fish at ultra slow. And with panfish, slow is often the key to catching them. There's one. Not hey, sure buddy. the size, but it's a tugger. Oh, they are little tornadoes. Oh yeah, nice one. Oh, look at that, huh? Just another tank. Man, those are awesome fish when you can barely get your hand around those things. Those are, those are the sweet ones. Look at the ear on that thing. Oh, spectacular fish. Now I want to share a little bit with you about our presentation. So many times when you see pan fishermen, they're fishing with corks, and it's a great way to catch fish, no doubt, but what Matt and I are doing today is we're covering water. This lake is just rim. The whole thing is nice bulrush, lily pads on the shore, there's cut banks, it's, the whole thing is cabbage, so really finding an area that's gonna hold most of the pan fish isn't like a real easy deal to do, so you gotta cover water. And you'd be surprised on how many pan fish are willing to bite something like this. This is a little, just a little spinner, just like the old traditional beetle spin, but this is a VMC with a little twister on the back. The thing is dynamite, and then Matt's just fishing a moon eye in a tube, but you don't have to take the time always to cork fish stuff. You can cast and wine and catch sunnies and crappies. It's a lot more efficient. If you find an area that's got fish, sure, drop shot or cork fish, but to find the fish, this is definitely the way to do it. Mm -hmm.